20 inches. That is the amount of rain now expected to hit Richmond County and the Sand Hills region. Good evening. I'm Matt Harrelson being joined by Russell Parker for your Live at 5 special weather report. Well, we've got a big storm coming. It's already here, you yes. might as well just say. And, uh, you know, oh, as of 11.30 this morning, it's kind of shifted over to uh, 20 inches of rain now, as you just mentioned. So uh, it's kind of doubled overnight. Uh, a lot is going on with the storm that, you know, it's jumped down to a Category 1, but that's only for the wind, the rain, and, uh, you know, the, the potential for flooding continues to increase because the storm is moving so slow. Right. So... A lot is going on here for us here in Richmond County. Yeah, and if uh, for those watching and listening, if you think that because it's been downgraded to a Category 1 that it's nothing to worry about, not so fast, my friend, because you're still going to be expecting high, high gusts of wind, uh, still getting up into a 75, 80-mile-an-hour range, which, of course, will still move stuff if you don't have it tied down. Uh, so Florence made landfall around 7.15 this morning, the eye hitting... Uh, Somewhere in the Wilmington, uh, North Myrtle Beach area, some, you know, kind of sandwiched in between there. Uh, and as I just mentioned, because of all that rain that we're expecting to get, there is the uh, potential for catastrophic flooding. Yeah. So uh, um, just real quick before I send it back over to you. Obviously, we've said this several times, not only on Live at 5, but on Good Morning Sand Hills. Just an inch of water could send your car uh, going down the road without you. So you want to make sure to keep that in mind if you're going to be out and about, which I would recommend not to do unless there's an emergency. Yeah, and do not call 911 uh, if you decide that you're you're safe and you know you think everything's gonna be all right. The power goes out. I don't call 911. You need to call uh, you know Duke Energy or um, PD Electric, the two service providers here. So um, uh, use 911 for when you absolutely have a real emergency. So. Yeah. And um, according to Duke Progress, they're expecting between 1 and 3 million North Carolinians to be without power, which if it hits 3 million, that's a third of the entire state. Yeah. But if you look at how big this storm is, it encompasses the majority of North and some of South Carolina. So it just goes to show you that, yes, it may have slowed down, but it is still a very, very large uh, weather system. Yeah, it's, it's very, very dangerous, too. Yeah, and speaking of, uh, of wind... Um, the wind obviously has been very strong already today. That's going to continue, as we mentioned. Um, it's going to uh, actually start to lessen as we get further through the weekend and as this thing ends up moving up towards West Virginia, Ohio, um, which I find kind of interesting that this thing is going to take an immediate turn right once it gets past the Appalachian Mountains, especially considering when this thing first started, it had no path even close to this, right? Yeah, it was originally it was supposed to go to you know to the uh, right of us, which was towards the Outer Banks, and mm -hmm. then... Right as soon as it got there, I think uh, right around you know a couple of days ago, it was saying, okay, now it's going to go towards South Carolina. So, yeah, it, this storm is still unpredictable on where it's going to go yeah. to. Um, you know, the outlook is, is really incredible with the fact that it's going to go straight over South Carolina now. Uh, nobody's seen that coming two, a couple of days ago. Yeah, just a couple of days ago. And one other quick thing I want to let people know, there is a tornado watch in effect for the Sand Hills area until mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow night, tomorrow evening. So, of course, keep that in mind because what we see happen sometimes, unfortunately, with these hurricanes, especially when it starts to uh, to break apart, some of these smaller systems end up building up with uh, high pressure and the humidity, and next thing you know, you've got a twister on your hands. So, yeah. uh, of course, with that in mind, obviously flooding something to worry about, but uh, if tornadoes do end up popping up, of course, get to a room uh, with no windows, uh, or even better, if you have a basement area, of course, head down to that. So. Yeah. It's, it's going to be an uh, interesting 24, 48 hours from here on out. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. So, of course, everyone, uh, we want to make sure that you be safe. And uh, if you've got to, I'm pretty sure there are still some uh, grocery stores that may be open for just a little bit longer. So if you've waited to the last minute, of course, shame on you for doing that. Yeah. But definitely get out, get any supplies that you need, uh, and make sure to have everything that needs to be tied down or brought in uh, done so. So... Uh, but we're going to, of course, have more on Hurricane Florence when we come back uh, to our Live at 5 official weather report. All that and more on the hurricane when we return. At Richmond Community College, we can prepare you for a high-skill, high-paying career in a variety of fields. From business to education, engineering, utilities, healthcare, criminal justice, information technology, and human services. At Richmond Community College, we can save you thousands of dollars on tuition through our university transfer programs that provide a seamless transition to universities and colleges throughout North Carolina. At Richmond Community College, we are always developing new courses and programs in response to the communities we serve. We offer day, 
evening, and online courses, and you can now complete five curriculum programs entirely online. At Richmond Community College, we believe in helping you prepare for a better life. Richmond Community College, local college, big impact. At Kiyosera, we see your company differently. We see your documents, how they're accessed, what it takes to keep them secure, and how well your workflow is flowing. Kiyosera helps your entire document infrastructure run more efficiently, securely, and cost-effectively. And what we see is an opportunity to integrate all of it. The National Weather Service has Richmond County under several watches and warnings. A tropical storm warning is in effect with the potential for winds to reach up to 73 miles per hour in the coming days. Those strong winds could damage roofing and siding, porches, awnings, and carports. Mobile homes not properly tied down could also be flipped over and other items not secured could turn into projectiles. With the rain in the area received in the days leading up to Florence's arrival, in addition to the showers associated with the tropical system, the heavy winds could also uproot or snap large trees, which could in turn lead to impassable roads and power outages. In a press release issued Wednesday, Duke Energy Progress estimated that 1 to 3 million customers could be without power as a result of the hurricane. By 3 p.m. on Thursday, the company reported multiple power outages in the coastal counties. The county is also under a flash flood watch until 8 p.m. Sunday. That was extended 24 hours just before 5.30 yesterday afternoon. During Tuesday's Rockingham City Council meeting, residents were urged to stay off Hitchcock Creek during the storm. Travel is expected to be hazardous throughout the weekend due to flooded roads. In 2016, rains from Hurricane Matthew flooded the Steel Street Greenway, a section of East Broad Avenue and various side streets, and causing a sinkhole on Long Drive. All right, when we return, I'll be bringing you your Live at 5 weather report with more on Hurricane Florence. It's coming up right after the break, so stay tuned. Hayden Construction has two new homes under construction at two distinct locations, 125 Crystal Court in Carolina Hills and on Robertdale School Road. Both feature incredible floor plans and distinct features inside and out. Hayden Construction, quality, value, and beauty. Call Jamie Smart at 910-331-5811 or Nicole Hayden at 910-995-0717 today to schedule an appointment. Exit Realty, making dreams a reality. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. Today's Live at 5 weather report is brought to you by McNair Auto Sales. And the time is finally upon us, folks. Florence has hit the Carolinas. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, the eye of the storm, which is how they uh, determine landfall exactly, came on board about 7.15 this morning around the uh, Wrightsville Beach, Wilmington, uh, North Myrtle Beach area. So as you can see on the map behind me, at 11 a.m. this morning, as I just mentioned, it came on to shore. As we move further through the weekend, for instance, 8 a.m. tomorrow and 8 p.m. tomorrow, uh, Hurricane Florence will actually be dipping underneath Richmond County before starting to take a very sharp turn north around 8 a.m. on Sunday. And as you can see, heading up towards Kentucky, uh, West Virginia, and Ohio. And if this thing stays on track, we'll actually end up back in the Atlantic Ocean after going and visiting the top of Virginia, Maryland, New Jersey, and New York. Now, moving forward, taking a look at wind. As far as tropical storm force winds, uh, the purple on the middle means that it is a 100% of having winds above 40 miles per hour. Of course, as we move further and further outside of that, the winds, uh, their percentage of those high winds will decrease. However, as we've mentioned several times over the week, make sure if you've got anything outside to tie it down or bring it in because just because if you're not inside of that purple doesn't mean it's not going to be some really high force gust winds. Now, taking a look at rain, this could be one of the biggies as far as Hurricane Florence. 
Uh, the purple again means you can expect up to 20 inches of rain down in the Wilmington area, all the way stretching to pretty much here in the Sand Hills area where we're expected to get somewhere between 10 and 15 inches of rain. So more than a foot expected right here in the Sand Hills area. So keep that in mind if you're trying to drive somewhere. We recommend here at uh, Live at 5 to first of all not do that. Don't leave the house unless it's an emergency. But if you must, make sure to follow all traffic laws. If you see any kind of flooding going on, make sure to stay away from that. Just use common sense, folks. Now taking a look at the five-day weather forecast uh, for Saturday, for tomorrow, 100% chance of rain. Obviously expected all day long as Florence sits over North and South Carolina with a high of 76, a low of 71. Same thing expected for Sunday as we finish out the weekend. Once again, a 100% chance of rain as we see Florence hopefully start to move out of North Carolina and start to head north towards West Virginia. But a high of 77 that day, a low of 72. Once again on Monday, expecting to see more rain as the outside bands of Florence. Uh, again, hopefully by that point we'll have moved past us, but we'll still be catching some of those thunderstorms that are accompanied with it. Temperature's going to rise all the way up to 87 that day with a low of 73 Monday night. As we move into further next week, a 50% chance of thunderstorms on Tuesday. So as you can see, going to start decreasing the chances of precipitation. It's also going to be the hottest day out of the five on Tuesday, a high of 89, low of 69. And then on Wednesday, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, if you will, something to look forward to because next Wednesday there is zero chance of uh, precipitation as we sit now. Should be a beautiful day, high of 89, low of 68. So that will, of course, give everybody some uh, glimmer of hope as we get through the weekend and Hurricane Florence. And that's going to do it for your Live at 5 weather report. When we return, Richmond Senior High School has close to 50 people taking shelter, and another one is open at Mineral Springs. It's coming up right after the break. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. Willow Tree Antiques and Gifts is all about rustic home decor and gifts. You will always find a variety of unique antiques, vintage, and new items in our shop. Come and see our selection of housewarming, new baby, and wedding gifts. For the man in your life, we have many collectibles, boker knives, and leather. And ladies love the jewelry, purses, candles, hats, and t-shirts. We also offer a 30-day layaway program. Come and experience shopping at Willow Tree Antiques and Gifts. Nearly 50 people decided to take refuge from Hurricane Florence at Richmond Senior High School before 9 p.m. Thursday. The county opened the school as a shelter at 1 p.m. and had checked in 48 people and one dog, according to Social Services Director Robbie Hall. He added that the shelter can also house up to 100 people. There was one person waiting when the shelter opened its doors and there was a, quote, steady trickle all day long, according to Hall. Green cots with red cross blankets were lined up in the hallway near the cafeteria and between the lockers of D-Pod. By 8.45, some of the evacuees were asleep while others read, scrolled on their phones, or watched Independence Day, which uh, was playing in theaters when Hurricane Bertha hit back in 1996. Family Video donated the sci-fi flick along with several other family-friendly films. Dog food was also provided free of charge by Mercantile on Broad. Area of Richmond Transit will provide transportation to anyone who wants to go to the shelter, Hall said. The shelter is being run by Richmond County Emergency Services and staffed by Hall's department. 
The health department also has nurses on site to tend to medical needs, and Daymark is providing mental health services. Brian Land, County Manager for Richmond County Government, announced today that due to Hurricane Florence, a second emergency shelter will be opened in Richmond County. This shelter is being established at Mineral Springs School, located at 1426 Green Lake Road in Ellerby. If transportation is needed, call the Transportation Coordinator at 910-417-4948. So yeah, it's, uh, I think it's important and, and, and good for the community that uh, you know a couple of these schools are opening up to provide shelter for those that need it. Of course, as we mentioned before, um, you know, elderly folks, people that if their power goes out, they're kind of in a jam, especially if they don't have family nearby. Yeah. Uh, people that live in mobile homes, people that live in low-lying floodplains. So. Yeah, uh, definitely you need to take advantage of these shelters, folks. If you are if you feel like you're not going to be safe, you know, if you're in a mobile trailer, you definitely need to go and take out. And, you know, if you got family in the area or if you can take one of these shelters, you know, go somewhere that's more safe for you. So Yeah, and I, <clears throat> I do want to mention, it's also nice that the uh, senior high is allowing pets as well. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if the Middle Spring site will be doing the same thing. I think so. But, um, you know, if you have to... <laughs> It would be tough to have to make a decision whether you want to bring your four-legged furry friend or have to leave them at home. And a yeah. lot of people, you know, you're almost daring people to stay at home and, uh, you know, hope to fight off the hurricane just yeah. so they don't have to leave their pets. So, uh, of course, kudos to everybody involved with that. We hope all the nurses, uh, you know, EMT, first responders, all those that are helping out with all of this stuff will stay safe as well over the weekend. So, Certainly, yes. Yeah, and again, this is uh, going to be our last broadcast uh, and, until we get to next week. Of course, we'll come back and see what kind of damage, if any, Hurricane Florence uh, was involved with. Of course, one more time, we hope everybody is safe out there. And that's going to do it for today's edition of Live at 5. If you haven't already, be sure to download the Richmond Observer app for your iPhone and Android devices. For all the latest news in Richmond County, as well as uh, much more updates on Hurricane Florence, you can, of course, visit richmondobserver.com. We'll also have some live streams later on throughout the weekend. I'll be showing the pace and all that. Absolutely. And, of course, be sure to tune in to Good Morning Sandhills Monday through Friday from 6.30 to 8.30 a.m. And on the Good Morning Sandhills Facebook page right now, John and myself went out to Hitchcock Creek this morning after the show to see how that was doing. It hasn't risen yet, but that's obviously going to be on the way. So make sure to stay away from Hitchcock and don't try to go kayaking folks wait till the weather's a little bit yeah. nicer but uh thanks for watching live at five good night and have a safe weekend richmond county